I am back in San Diego for the Thanksgiving break and just like everyone else, the first thing I'm doing is getting myself some fish tacos. These are so popular that everyone's got a version. But this trip out, we are in search of the best fish tacos in San Diego. Fish tacos are as synonymous with San Diego as beaches are. But funny enough, this regional specialty was actually appropriated from Baja, Mexico, just across the border. It all started with a humble food stand called Rubio's Fish Tacos, which was so successful, it eventually became a popular California food chain. And this is the perfect place to kick off this video. This is also my go-to whenever I need to get a fish taco fix. Their founder, Ralph Rubio, discovered fish tacos as a San Diego State student while on break in Baja. And if you're familiar with Baja, it's a thin little peninsula off the Pacific Ocean, which is why their diet is so heavy in seafood. Their first stand was opened on the site of a former Orange Julius in Pacific Beach for all you 80s fans. Nowadays, they've got all different types of fish tacos, but their original is the Baja style, which is a deep fried pollock that is served street taco style inside of a corn tortilla topped with cabbage and crema. That's the classic and what became popularized in San Diego. Now, while it's not on the best of list, it's pretty decent and accessible. And if you don't like the fried, you can also come for their blackened mahi-mahi, which is also really popular. Sometimes Rubio's also does a lobster taco when it's in season. And if you come on Taco Tuesdays, they're only a buck 75 after 2 p.m. I could spend my entire time eating here, but for the sake of this video, we should probably branch out. So, we are headed to Mission Valley for more cheap tacos. All right, guys, we are at Kika's Fish Place, which is right next to a liquor store, a mobile gas station, and across the street, look at right there, that's a Del Taco. Ironic, isn't it? So most people get this OG fish, which is $2.50, but today I'm gonna order the spicy octopus, which is six bucks. This food truck has been around for as long as Rubio's. The owners are originally from San Felipe in Baja. Kiko, who opened this food truck, has since passed away. And it's being run right now by Kiko's kids, and this is actually his son, Javier. Hi. And Javier runs it with his uh, with sister. With my sister. One of them is uh, Carmen, and the other one is Candy. Hi, nice to meet you. How did your dad get started? Uh, he started in 1983 in a little uh, taco truck and in 1983 in San Felipe. You guys have a lot of regular customers. Why do people love coming and eating here? Uh, we do the best. We do everything with the, all the effort that we have in the morning and it's the same recipe that my dad taught us. While you're waiting, you get this complimentary cup of seafood consomme. This one's pretty high quality. It's got little bits of onions and herbs and even veggies. And they also have awesome homemade light fruit drinks called aquas frescas, literally translated to fresh waters. Today's flavor is lime with a salt sugar and I think tamarind dusted rim. Order up. Everything made from scratch and so worth the wait. The fam got themselves an OG Baja style smoked fish with green bell peppers, and a delish looking spicy grilled fish with onions and cheese. This is my spicy octopus taco. Tender grilled slices flavored with garlic and lightly spiced, then stuffed into a corn tortilla with red onions, tomatoes, and topped with shredded cheese. There's a little condiment station here where you can get all your sauces, your habanero, extra, 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 extra spicy, chili peppers salsa verde, and oh, you've got chipotle. I'm gonna get chipotle on mine. This taco is literally overflowing with octopus. They've stuffed so much of it in here. Looks so yummy. Super yum. Woo! The late spiciness, that kind of kicked me in the mouth. Very fresh seafood. That taco was so huge. It was practically a meal unto itself. Also try their ceviche tostado, which is essentially raw fish that is cured with a squeeze of lemon lime. I'm ready for some more. The best way to enjoy fish tacos is the way that the people of Baja intended it, by the beach. We're here at Pacific Beach and Oscar's Mexican Seafood. There are actually three locations, North Pacific Beach, Pacific Beach, and one in Hillcrest. The owner Juan Bernardo Montes de Oca is originally from Tijuana, 
and had a food stall there that he opened with co-owner Oscar Valenzuela, why this is named Oscars. And when they decided to open the San Diego location, well, Oscar didn't quite make it over here. They've got a full menu and the breakfast burrito is pretty damn good. But we're here for the tacos. The Baja style is only two and a quarter bucks, but what's recommended here is a smoked fish taco for five bucks and 15 cents. Once you pick your taco, most have the option to specify preparation. Grilled, smoked, spicy, battered, or ceviche style. For those of you who are a little bit more health conscious, they use olive oil here instead of butter and lard. Got a little fish stew to get myself started. This one was about $2.99 and look, it's just chock full of stuff. You see cilantro, some avocado, onions, some celery, and big chunks of fish. Mm. Oh yeah, that's so good. Fish is really mild, goes really well with this. Also chunks of carrots in here too. Yeah. Check it out. Over on the counter here, there's a bunch of uh, hot sauces so you can help yourself. A bunch of ones I have never seen before. Ooh. This one looks good. Let's try this. The squirt here. Condiments are in this fridge here. Help yourself. Got a Japanese hot pepper sauce here. This one here is a habanero aioli. And then a chipotle aioli. Help yourself to mine. So here is our taco. Got your corn tortilla here, the avocados, cabbage. Back here there's a smoked fish and if you look underneath the cabbage there's quite a lot of it. A little bit of salsa in there too. A little piece so you can see kind of what the smoked fish looks like. Put our sauces on here. That was a lot. I'm gonna regret that. Bottoms up. That's delicious. Actually, the heat from that salsa is not too bad. Love that. That's definitely a different take on fish tacos. The smoked fish in this has such an intense flavor. It's definitely more on the salty side, and you get that delicious smoke quality. I mean, if you've had smoked salmon, it's kind of a similar thing. An avocado in this is an awesome compliment because the fish is so salty and lean. The avocado gives the taco um, bit of fat and uh, the blandness is really good at balancing out that salt so that you don't feel like it's overwhelming salt. And then of course these mayo sauces are a must. They give it that punch of flavor. And if you're going to be authentic you've got to wash it down with a little bit of Fanta. The corn tortillas are actually made fresh by a local tortilleria down the street in Chula Vista and delivered daily. In fact, the guy is in there making his deliveries right now. Oh my God, so filling. I think it's a good value because one taco will do here. And if you're here in the summer, they'll also make beach deliveries. Okay, continuing down south to Ocean Beach and our next stop. We're at South Beach Bar and Grill. There's the ocean. This is a two-story grill slash sports bar with a casual vibe. Head upstairs for awesome al fresco dining beachside. Order a brew with your taco. There's an awesomely long list of ales and ciders on tap. Front page and back. Loving my Washington Gold Cherry Hard Cider. The original Baja Tacos here are $3.95. It's also recommended to get the Wahoo for $3.95 and my choice this afternoon, the world famous Mahi Mahi, also for $3.95. The tacos range anywhere from about $4 up to for the pricier of lobster one, but if you come during happy hour, which is around three to six, you can get the more popular tacos for only three bucks. And on Taco Tuesday and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., all the tacos, except the lobster, are three bucks. Both the Mahi Mahi and Wahoo are popular game fish. The Mahi Mahi specifically is a pretty meaty white fish. This Mahi Mahi is marinated in teriyaki and pineapple juice to give it that sweet and sour tang, and then simply grilled. And it's topped off with some cabbage, some salsa fresca, crema, and some melted cheese. 
give it a little squirt of lime juice for some extra acid, and feel free to duck inside to grab homemade salsas, including a pineapple habanero, seven chili bread, and a roasted tomatillo, which this taco will need. Check this out. It's going out fishing. That's a beaut. Mm. That's delicious. I love the salsa fresco on this. The marinade is actually not as pronounced as I would have thought. Yeah, it's sweet and sour, but you're not getting those exotic flavors coming through. The marinade also makes for kind of a wet taco. It's a little bit like eating a sloppy joe. Just make sure you aim for your plate, not your lap. The filling to tortilla ratio is pretty good though. I was able to finish the entire thing while keeping the tortilla intact. Good to the last bite. I am so full, but we're not quite done yet. One last stop in Mission Hill. Our final destination is San Diego Magazine's 2009 Best Seafood Restaurant. Blue Water Fish Market was opened in 2006 by Ocean Beach natives Matt and Judd Braun, who are longtime sports fishermen and also used to go quite frequently to Ensenada, Baja for some fishing and tasty tacos. They pretty much bootstrapped this industry location and built almost the entire shop by hand. The fish is fresh caught every morning, either by local fishermen or by the staff themselves. Go ahead and pick whichever cut you want, your marinade of choice, and they'll grill it up for you. Their tacos start at five bucks and can go as high as 10 bucks for some of the more exotic seafood. Judd's personal favorite is the track taco, which is what I'm getting. It's a wild Pacific shrimp that is marinated in a chipotle butter sauce. And then it's topped with a mango salsa, Maui onions, a giant chunk of avocado, and some crema. Wow, that is really fantastic, really messy. There's a lot of big, fat, juicy shrimp in here that are perfectly grilled. Check this out. Those veggies in there are awesome. The creaminess of the avocados and the crunchiness of the cabbage give it a little bit of a flavor boost. That crema sauce is just right. Light, not too heavy, slightly spicy. And I really love that touch of sweetness from the Maui onions and the mango slaw. My one note for improvement, it'd be really great if they doubled up on the corn tortillas. It's kind of a wet taco and there's just so much stuff in it that the thing is just falling apart after a couple bites would definitely recommend this. The Braun Brothers' professional journey came full circle just recently when they opened up their second location in Ocean Beach, right in their childhood backyard. Kind of a culmination of their dream to bring fresh seafood to the community that they love. All right, guys, that does it for my San Diego fish taco crawl. Thanks for joining me today on this epic adventure. And until next time, peace out. If that information was valuable to you, please help me make it available to more people. Subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button down below or like the video by hitting the thumbs up icon. Thanks so much.